it's everybody's favorite Lovecraft, P.H. Lovecraft, wishing y'all a happy April Fools. Now don't be worried, I ain't here to trick anybody. No, I'm just filling in for Howie since he's locked himself in the closet. Turns out he's not a fan of April Fool's Day, and so he's gone into occultation to avoid any form of trickery, like somebody putting spiders in his raspberry jam, even though that was one time. Today I've decided to go deep into the vault and pull out a question that we've been pondering for quite some time, but never really found the appropriate way to respond to it until today. Allow me to continue. Mr. Lovecraft, as a proud Englishman, how do you feel about your native country of Great Britain being turned into a third world multicultural cesspool due to traitorous politicians who only care about cheap labor and votes? As you know, the same thing has happened to America and Europe in general. You often warned your readers about the dangers of multiculturalism in your weird fiction, and I am happy to report that more and more Americans and Europeans are starting to realize the dangers of multiculturalism as well. I know you're already aware of the fact that when vastly different cultures all try to live together under one society, it only leads to division and hatred. I think the majority of people would like to try and solve these problems in a peaceful and non-violent way. Do you think it is possible to solve these problems in a non-violent way? I was thinking if we had real leaders who cared more about their country than filling their pockets, we could peacefully work out a way to segregate ourselves in a non-violent manner. If we do not fix these problems soon, it will only be a matter of time before massive culture wars start to break out all over America and Europe. As a matter of fact, I think they are already starting to take place right now. You've obviously spent a lot of time and energy thinking up this question, so give me a moment to phrase my response most cogently. <laughs> As always, I've been P.H. Lovecraft. Y'all stay bad now. I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and I approve this message.